Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. I will be looking at the Android Volley User Reg Registration. The Android Volley User Registration. We'll be creating an application in Android whereby we'll be using the Volley Jar library to develop a registration page. You know, afterwards we're going to create uh, a login page. But for this tutorial, will be facing majorly on the user registration. Uh, uh, firstly, uh, we are going to create a database on our live um, server. I would like us to use a live server, not a local host this time. Uh, right on the screen, uh, you can see the PHP my admin of my live server on GoDaddy. Okay, we need to Create a database called the retrieve data. That's retrieve hyphen data. That's the name of the database being created. In this database, we have uh, a table called volley. Okay. Uh, in volley, we have four columns. The first is the ID, the username, the password, and the email. I actually believe that you should know how to create a database on in PHP my admin and also know how to create a table and the columns in the table you should know that by now I just believe you understand that if you don't go back uh, to the beginners in our uh, PHP and my SQL for you to be able to have a full grip of what we're doing okay once I created uh, the database retrieve hyphen data uh, a table right inside the called Voli in my table I have four columns being ID is an integer data type username is a variable character password and email are variable character data type this is very very important that's the first thing to actually do right in this project okay afterwards I will take a rundown on some PHP scripts which is actually taking uh, recognize you no, know, is holding on to the back end of the application. To me, this is called the building of the back end of the application, with, whereby we use PHP, MySQL, and also our database to store data and also retrieve data. And the front end will be the, um, the use of the Android Studio to create the Java classes, whereby we have the interface to communicate with our back end. Okay, I'll write in my bracket IO. I have actually created um, a dbconnect.php, you know, whereby you specify the, the, the first PHP tag, you define your host, which is local host. Uh, I also defined a user called admin iPhone retrieve, a password admin iPhone retrieve with the name of the database, the DB called retrieve data. You should have created all these on your local host server. You create um, the user to the DB and also the password to the DB, okay? Thereby creating uh, a variable called connect. My SQLI connects the host, the user, the password, and the DB. If not, die. That is, stay unable to connect. That is very, very important. That's the DB connect. Now, I would like you to, uh, I created another PHP file called volley register and the volley register well we have the the first statement which is the if statement calling on the server global uh, requesting some method that is is a post method uh, whereby we have four uh, three uh, variables the username email and password whereby we post the username passing from the front end which is the interface from the mobile application and the email and password we have to pass it into it we require once the db connect which is the uh, the connection to our database uh, file created earlier in which we create an sql statement we insert into volley the volley is the name of the table you know the username the password and the email passing the values of those uh, fields okay so if my SQLI query, thereby making the connection and the query 
in uh, binding them together if they were successful you echo successful registered if not that else could not register you know so or uh, if there's an error thereby connecting to your database you echo error so this particular php file is very very important we call it volley register.php whereby i have to upload these two four files to my uh directory in the server you know i actually did that in uh in my file manager whereby i included that to my server i would like you to just do that as well include these two particular files to a directory in your server and thereby you're going to have a url which is going to link straight to the volley register i'll take you through on how to actually do that in a gb okay after finishing with the back end, I would like us to look at the uh, the front end, which is going to be our mobile application development using Android Studios. So I dash straight to Android Studios, where I've done some um, configuration. Okay, first level, my Android manifest, very important. Let me look at my Android manifest. Aha, uh -huh. there is a particular line which is very very important to declare in the android manifest which is the permission you know we have to declare android permission internet internet is quite very important in this application because there is going to be a connection to the back end whereby we're going to extract our, or we're going to send over some data to our back end for storage okay afterwards i'm going to look at our activity main which is the layout of folder uh, this activity main actually is the front end of our application we have is a linear layout we have a text view which holds the username the edit text you know which is like a, a field to type in your text and the text view also another one which holds the email corresponding edit text to all the email of of the imputed email we also have the password and also the edit text for the password and there is a button which which carries register which is a register click on the button let me quickly show a design view of how the layout should look like okay can you see it very clearly the username the edit text the email the edit text the password and also the edit text with a large button called register afterwards i would like us to look at the build dot redo uh, dependencies this is very important we need to add the the com dot mcxia okay -E dot volley dot uh, the library we have to add the volley library so that there are uh, some classes that will depend on this library will be used you know without this i don't think you will be able to build up this application because you will have a lot of error right in your java class okay afterwards we're gonna look at the main activity of our java class okay our main activity is just like any other main activity that extends the app compact activity it implements the view on click listener we have um some string um fields yeah which is the first for the registry url if you notice this is a url called http www.delaroystudios.com slash channel slash register for slash volley register the php the volley register i talked about in my uh previous uh analysis this actual volley register which is right on the server this volley register also depend on db connect which require once so you have to upload this to uh, files to your server so i actually uploaded it to a live server in a register folder that's why you can have this uh, link this link is very very important so we created uh some other fields called key username key password and key email which we have the username password and email with the, their corresponding edit text which holds on to the imputed text value and also the button register very important first of all we have on, on on our create method we set the content view so the layout activity main and also find a view by id the edit text username 
the edit text password and the edit text email very important and also the button register we have an on-click listener to the button register so what's the on-click listener going to do it's going to register user okay the username the password and the email which is in the register user method uh we need to get the text the and convert it to string and also trim it up you know we, we are actually going to use um, the value passed in from the user name password and email so we need to create a string request you no know, just like we've done before but this time we need to send some data along with the request as you can see we are using the post request over here the post request uh, for binding the data we need to override method get params you know we need to override the get params method um this method return a hash map with key value pairs we will pull the data which is to be sent to the hash map you no know? so we're going to override our message which is the params we're talking about and the hash map which we've actually done so with this i i uh, you you have a full grip on the login or uh, the registration rather of a user in an application uh you can as well um create an intent to actually push you up to another application probably after a user registers uh, successfully an intent should take place you know or another java class should start up afterwards but at this junction i would like to run this code and let's see how it's going to be displayed in our journey motion emulator so I click on my run button. Okay. Let me bring my journey motion to focus. And let's wait for the launch. So I'm going to do uh, a registration. And I'm going to check on to my backend to see probably if it's been inserted fully. But before that, I would like to show you how my backend actually is. No data at all initially. Okay, I'm having slow. Okay, if you notice, no data, no data in my backend for the volley table. Okay, I will, I would like to to get back to my emulator and actually see what's happening. Okay, if you notice, uh, there is nothing no selected uh, value or data to show okay that's fine um look at my emulator okay it's building up okay i'd like to have to exercise some patience for that to be fully built and launched to yeah, my data. Okay, I click on OK. Okay, our application has launched. Okay, so we have to test at this moment uh, the username delivery. email my email password i'll use a dummy password one two three four click on register okay if you notice um the pop-up successfully registered okay that's a toast uh, for us to confirm this actually once i create once i click on my register and once it gets successful you can as well redirect to a default page you know uh we get to do that in uh our subsequent videos but for now i would like to check my um my database to see maybe this part this particular data have been imputed okay i'll go back to my if you notice it's still at zero okay click on structure it 
sorry for some reasons my system is slightly slow this probably reboot okay all right I'll go to browse let me browse up if you notice this delivery I'm a YK at Yahoo discount email not the password and the email one two three four okay I think there's a slight um, uh, mix up in the fields uh, there, but that's fine that can be easily be adjusted okay I hope you've gotten one or two things to learn from this analysis uh, I would like you to stick to my channel because I'm still going to come up with the login aspect of this particular application. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. I love you all. Bye-bye.